Yeah, I, I don't have much to say to that, except I agree. Um, I, I will, my own journey on this, if you, if I had been leading this, I mean, I couldn't have been leading this webinar seven years ago, but um, I've been doing this kind of thing for a while. I would have, I would have said like, well, the key is these actions, help people figure out how to do these actions. I don't actually believe that anymore. I think those actions come from perspectives and mindsets that, that there's real unlearning if we're going to do it differently. And so I, I do think we need to give more time and space for us as adults to do that. What gives me great hope about it is engaging and learning like this, I think is actually more natural than the way we've been taught to do it. Uh, it's more human, it's more relational. Um, some people look at these lists and think, oh my gosh, you're asking me to do so much. This is not more, it's different. And I will say this over and over, the teachers whose classrooms are like this are happier and they're more fulfilled. And I don't think they're working longer hours. They're sharing the load with students and it's a little messier and it's a little less predictable, but it's not that you've got to do everything and then add on. It's that you've got to start in a different place, which is in the connecting and the, the purpose. Um, it means that you have to take some risks and let students learn and fail. And so your energy goes to a different place. But I think that we can do it with conversations like this and noting, you know, I, I truly, I don't know exactly what it looks like systemically, but I'm, I'm hoping to like, yeah, so what, what you're saying is like, of course, I agree with every single point. Um, the discrepancy where I've seen this, um, Stephen, is like the teachers, especially that I would talk about my schools and the communities that my teachers come from. Um, there is, I have found that there is so much of dissonance in their private lives and what is expected in their professional life. Um, like the schools have become this place where they put on a mask and do what is expected of them. But when they go back at home, they don't have agency. They don't have decision-making power. They have to listen to somebody else. They are facing domestic violence. Um, so to come out of that themselves first, like this will require for them to come out of that, deal with that, answer those difficult questions for themselves. Um, and then I would think that they would be able to somewhere start doing it for the students. Um, so that is a very yeah. big challenge that that when is you're a very, very big challenge. Facing it on a personal level, how do you push it to uh, do the same thing for students? Like expect that to be done with students. I wish I had quick, easy answers. Um, <laughs> I know there are none. It's I, I know like hmm. there's a lot of work to be done and we just have to be consistent with it. Just, I mean, yeah. some of those issues you describe are obviously delicate, but I will say that the teachers we study are more honest and vulnerable with their students than I ever was with mine. And I think there's something in that, like, you know, it's, it's not a facade to say I'm learning alongside my students and I'm growing alongside my students. You know, we, so I, you know, I, I think, I don't know, I'm thinking about, uh, there, if, if you all haven't seen the video of Wisdom, I bet some of you have seen it. Um, he's a teacher who was in Denver, an immigrant to the United States and in a community where there's all kinds of racial tensions that he's experiencing. And the way he ran his class, like this wasn't the point, but it was therapy for him too. It was like... It was just so real. Um, and I think those students grew, <laughs> grew so much. So yeah, I wish I had a simple answer to that, but I, I do appreciate there are very real challenges to all of this. Like every day you're, you're, we're asked to compromise on these things. And I, I think part of this is just being kind of explicit that I think what I need to do is this, but because of something I'm, I'm doing something else, but that's not who I am, right? And, and it's, 
uh, there, there is a lot of self-work. And you'll see if you look at the perspectives that I, I, like that's sort of what I mean by the under the iceberg thing. There's so much internal work that has to happen for this to work. 